fairly hard mode in Terraria can be quite the challenge for the melee class. This is mostly due to an absence of weapons that can take out enemies from a safe distance. Of course, while this is to be expected for a class based around close quarters combat, there are some melee weapons that have a fair bit of range and can make your overall experience much easier. Today, we're going to be looking at a weapon that was previously pretty mediocre, but after receiving a substantial buff to its range in the 1.4.4 update, is now a much more viable option. Of course, I'm talking about the Chain Guillotines. The what? Guillotine. Guillotines. Of course, I'm talking about the Chain Guillotines. Before we delve into this, if you enjoy these little videos, don't forget to subscribe as it helps the channel out. Right, let's see how you get this thing. The Chain Guillotines are a corrupt fire mimic drop, meaning they can be obtained right after defeating the Wall of Flesh. You might not want to go searching for them straight away though, as the underground corruption is a nasty experience with pre hard mode gear. I'd recommend at least coming equipped with a set of tier 3 hard mode or armor. I also wouldn't search for the bio mimics in the naturally generated caves, as this can take forever. Instead, dig out large rows to create an effective layer farm. This will skyrocket the chances you have of finding one, and will also allow you to easily farm other corruption enemies. After engaging one, make sure to keep on the move as these things are crazy fast. For this I'm using the Dripler Crippler, as it deals incredible amounts of damage and can also be obtained pre-mech. If you're finding this difficult though, don't worry, as by simply collecting 15 souls of night, you can craft a key of night at a workbench, and summon one wherever you like by placing it in a chest. Taking one out on the surface is much easier. Easier. And just like that, with a 20% drop rate, I got my chain guillotines. Okay then, let's see what they can do. The chain guillotines are an auto-swinging flail that fires two blade projectiles attached to chains in rapid succession. As mentioned earlier, it received quite the buff in the 1.4.4 update, meaning you can hit your target from quite a surprising distance. You may be disappointed to see that this weapon does not in fact pierce, however, due to the nature of how flails work in this game, the blade projectile can actually infinitely pierce during its return phase. This means that the most effective way to use this thing is by firing the blade behind a group of enemies and then letting the pullback deal a lot of damage. Hitting an enemy directly may result in a faster fire rate though, so it all depends on your target. Here you can see it deal with multiple mimics very well, which demonstrates its piercing quite well. Now, what most of you are probably wondering is how it does against bosses, and my answer to this is, well, alright. I wouldn't personally use this against a destroyer at all though, as you aren't able to take advantage of its piercing at all, making the fight drag on forever. I'd recommend using the Dripler Crippler for this instead, as it actually has full on proper piercing. So what about another mech boss, the Twins for example? This weapon is far better suited for this fight, and is more than capable of taking them out. Its range is putting it a little fine though, and I'm not sure if the pre 1.4.4 version would have been able to do this as well. Something also worth noting is that the Shadow Flame Knife does still deal more DPS, and while it could be argued that it's harder to aim and obtain, I'd much rather use this on the boss than the Chain Guillotines. It just all depends on what you find easier to use, I guess. Another boss you can take out with the Chain Guillotines is Queen Slime. Despite this boss's fast and erratic movement, I had no problem keeping up with it and managed to land the majority of my shots. The only slight annoyance during this fight is when a slime gets in the way. This causes the flail to return, blocking potential damage you could be dealing on the queen instead. This wasn't a huge deal though, and I managed to take her out nice and quickly. Overall, this is a solid early hard mode melee weapon that can easily carry you to Pantera. It's also very simple and easy to obtain, only requiring you to farm one enemy that can be forcibly spawned. If you've just entered hard mode and are playing melee, this is absolutely one of these weapons to go for as soon as possible. And while it may not be perfect for everything, I'd still recommend using it as a secondary along with something else like the Dripler Crippler or the Shadow Flame Knife. What do you think? Are the chain guillotines worth it after all its buffs? Thanks for watching. For more Terraria content like this, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.